Hi everyone, it's Audrey. Um, I am back with a video about my altered Rolodex cards. I'm doing a swap on mini album scraps. Um, and we, the, the theme was spring flowers. And we had to create five um, altered Rolodex cards leaving the back plane. And so this is what I came up with. Um, I used the Tim Coffee uh, paper, which just screams springtime flowers to me. I'll show you the back, you can see more of the paper, the Gerber daisies. And then I got an order from Wild Orchid Crafts today, and I had never um, used those flowers, so what perfect timing. I was so excited, so of course I had to use those. And I honestly, I don't know the names or item numbers of these flowers. I was so excited I just ripped into the box. Um, here's one that's kind of got a cream and pink edges. A creamy ivory one and kind of a pale yellow. Then I used um, some seam binding on some and then some have some vintage lace that I glimmer misted. I didn't have enough of the lace. Um... Then I took a Tim Holtz, I think it's called a memo pin, and put a little ticket in there that said play. And I thought that was fitting for springtime because in the spring we all like to go outside and play. Then over here in the corner I used some bling and I, I think it might be like the Hobby Lobby brand or maybe Recollections. Honestly, I don't know. I cut it up into pieces so each one has a little bit different piece of it. And then I thought it needed a little something extra. Um, so what I did is I punched a tiny hole at the top, used a little a jump ring and a little bit of chain, and I had these little butterfly charms, or beads, and I made a little tiny charm to hang, kind of dangle. I'm kind of into dangling things. And from the Tim Coffee collection, there were these um, elements. And I don't know if the camera can see this, but it's a B. And it's kind of, it's a transparency and it has like gold foil. And I just stuck that down with some glue dots. And they're all fairly, pretty much the same. I used the Sizzix Rolodex or telephone and address die to do this. I cut it out of medium weight chipboard actually probably lightweight chipboard and then I cut my papers and I used Mod Podge to stick them on so that I got a nice even coverage and I inked the edges in the Distress Ink uh, I think it's called let me see here Vintage Photo so you can barely see that but just a little bit and then here's the Rolodex holder that I have, and I made one to keep for myself. And it kind of, I think it looks cool. I can't wait to add to it. And I'm going to alter this, add some flowers or decorations. And then we had to package them nicely. So what I did is I cut a, um, just out of the Tim Coffee card stock, I just cut a, I think it's called the Baroque die from Tim Holtz. And then I just put my information on the back. And it sealed up the little clear bag. Then the card's not glued down or anything, so you could use the reuse the tag or whatever. We weren't supposed to attach the tag or our information to the actual Rolodex card, so it's separate. And these should be going in the mail rather quickly here. The due date's June 15th, so plenty of time. And anyways, let me know what you think. Um, I hope you like these. This is my first attempt at a Rolodex card, and it is my second swap that I'm participating in. So very excited. Um, and I will be back sometime to show you the different ones that I received back in the swap. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.